Hey Ventura followers, it's Jeff Seal with Ventura Homes and we're back in 6314 88th Street. It's been a little bit since we've actually been in this house. We did a video previously where we were showing some of the finishes and so forth in this house. I want to show you a little bit more as far as the finished product and show you a little bit more about how all this came together. So we're really excited about how this came together with the countertops and the paint colors and so forth. You know, obviously we're doing a black and white theme with this and we've got these really cool leathered granite countertops, which are black. We also did the black faucet, black hardware. And one thing that we also did is where we came in and basically did all of the base cabinets in a black paint and did everything else on the top in white. Another really cool thing is this backsplash. So this is actually a piece of quartz, which is called Monaco. We actually use this on the backsplash here behind the ranges. So it's got a lot of natural movement to it. And we also did it on the fireplace. We wanna show you that as well. So we'd mentioned the fireplace, and this is actually a quartz, which is matching the quartz that's on the range. And you have all this really cool natural veining. So it's almost like a work of art. That's what's so cool about it. And one thing that we did, and it looks really cool, is how we actually vein matched all these little details as far as where we have it kind of going into the firebox. Um, and you can see all the veining and so forth, how it all matches up. Really cool. It's like I said, almost like a piece of art. And we also try to add this little black detail around that to kind of picture frame it. And then we have this really cool deep mantle that you can basically set stuff on. We do have it wired for a TV above. So if you wanted to put a TV up here, you could, or you can basically kind of have art pieces and so forth like we've got it staged. So this is a pretty exciting room right here. This is actually something that was an afterthought. You know, people always ask us, you know, how a lot of this stuff comes together and Originally, this was actually going to be a part of the master closet and there was going to be a little closet right here uh, off of the living room. And when we framed the house up, we actually saw this really cool space and thought this would be a great place to put an office. And so we decided we were going to make a little home office since it's so popular to have that right now with everything that's been going on in the last two years and have this really cool desk that follows the radius of this whole space and put a bookcase in here so you have plenty of storage. It's got this really awesome door, which is an oak door that uh, you can shut off. So if you are using this as a home office and you need the privacy and so forth, you've got it right here. Uh, it's probably one of our favorite features of this house, even though you know it's kind of a small space. It's really cool to see how all this came together, knowing that it wasn't even originally planned for this house. So definitely wanted to show you all this. As I mentioned before, this house is based upon a black and white theme. The exterior, the interior, we've used black and white paint. We have the white painted brick on the exterior with all the black trim, black doors. And then we carry that same theme into the house. So we have white walls and white trim. And then we did the black cabinets and doors throughout the house pretty much. A lot of black beam work and even some really cool details with the stain work. So we actually picked a specific stain for this house, which is kind of this gray color that we put on all the oak. So we did the handrail, had these little custom details on the mounting brackets that are on the staircase handrail. And then also these really cool custom doors that have these arch tops. Uh, we did that because we wanted to have it to where it kind of closed off the guest suite and at the same time closed off the area that goes into that little office area, which is so cool. Uh, one thing with this house also is it's got a pool. And so we're gonna show you some features of that and this really cool pool house. So that pool house is actually kind of something that was an afterthought as well. Uh, originally it was going to be just kind of an outdoor loggia slash covered patio. And after seeing it all come together, we decided to actually make it a true heated and cooled pool house area. So we're gonna show you more of that in future videos.